This is the first in a series of tutorials on Cinerella, a free and open source video editing program for Linux. Uh, there are very many uh, video editing programs out there for Linux, but I feel a lot of them are still in the early stages. They have potential, but they're not very stable. Cinerella seems to have a lot of nice features uh, and does a pretty good job. Um, there are some things that are unusual about it in the way it works, and I hope to show you uh, how it works in these series of tutorials. And uh, so let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go File, New, and I'm going to, I can choose Settings for the um, video. Uh, I can do Surround Sound, you can change the frame rate. Most of this you'll leave alone unless you're going to pick a different aspect and ratio. I did a widescreen, so I'm doing 16 by 9. And I'm just going to check Yes. And so now, by default, you have a, one video and two audio uh, tracks. The audio tracks are left and right audio track. You can see that right here that the right one's marked here and the left one's marked here. You can move that X around if you want to have the audio move around. Um, I'm just going to show you some simple features today. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit O to open files and I have two files that I've already captured. Uh, I use Kino to capture these, although Scenerella has uh, capturing program, uh, capturing options. Uh, you can see my uh, there's a link here for uh, my video on capturing with Kino. Uh, and uh, before we click uh, the checkbox to import these, you need to realize that there's different ways to insert video. And if you pick the wrong one, you can mess things up. Uh, so it's kind of a nice feature, but if you're not paying attention, you can screw things up. So uh, first option is replace current project. If you do that, if you already have videos in your timeline, little scenes in your timeline, it's going to remove all of them and replace it with these two videos. If you do replace current project and concentrate tracks, what that does is it's going to uh, remove everything that's in timeline and add the videos, but only on the tracks that are available, where if you pick the first one, it would create new tracks for each video clip. Append new tracks will just add uh, the videos that I have selected to new tracks below what is already there. Uh, concentrate to existing track would add the two videos one after another on the tracks that are available. And uh, paste the insertion point. Obviously, we paste uh, wherever I'm selected. Like right now, I'm selected probably about 12 seconds there. And uh, create new resource only adds it to your media folder up here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, replace current project. And as you can see, it adds the uh, the videos uh, one below each other. Uh, it's good because these are both the same video from different camera angles. Uh, forgive me if I go a little slow here. I'm only working with one arm, so it's hard for me to press some keys. Um, uh, up here you have this button which uh, shows, it basically shrinks everything in so you can see your whole project. And uh, what we're going to do next is, uh, if you see these little red record looking buttons, what those are is those are the tracks you're working with. Uh, so if I highlight like this and hit delete right now, it will delete that section from all those tracks. If I only want to delete it from the bottom video, I'll just unselect those. Another way you can do it is um, whatever track your cursor is over, you can hit tab and it turns that, if you watch right here, it turns that on and off. And if you hit shift tab, it will select that track and deselect all other tracks. So you don't have to go and uncheck all the ones you're not working on. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hit shift and we're going to scroll down, which allows you to zoom in. And I'm going to right click on this video track and I'm going to move it up. I'm going to move it up again so the videos are next to each other and now the audio uh, tracks are next to each other. I'm going to shift tab, shift tab, and tab and select these two audio tracks from the first video and I'm going to hit tab to select that video as well. So now we're editing these two audio tracks and this video track up here. I'm going to move till I see my little arrow here. And why is Oh, I guess I said at the beginning. Scroll to the beginning of the video. Uh, go over to the end of the track so you see the uh, little arrow pointing that way. We're going to drag that all the way to where the audio starts there. And now we're going to shift uh, tab on this track to select that. And then we're going to tab, tab. And I'm going to shift, scroll up a little bit to zoom out so I can see this audio track. And I'm going to grab all the way over to there. And now. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. And I'm just lining up the two videos based on what I'm viewing on the audio. If I was to press play now, 
open source video editing. That's what I'm here to talk to you about today. And We're not really hearing much of an echo, so our videos are lined up properly. Uh, the first video here, you can see the waves are a little bit bigger, so I got a little bit better audio on that. So I'm just going to delete these two bottom audio tracks because I don't need them anymore. Um, now, <coughs> when we press play, open source video editing. That's what I'm here if your video plays today. slow like mine is right there a little bit, what you can do is just these play buttons uh, are what videos are being played at that time. Uh, since I'm looking at the top view, I can turn off the second view okay, and, and now the video won't play time. slow and that's a little helpful when you're editing. I'm going to zoom out and what I'm going to do is up in the uh, timeline here I'm just going to click and drag and I'm watching the video until I see myself turn to the other camera view. What I'm going to do is now is I'm going to hit L to put a label there. And I'm going to go a little bit further until I see myself look back at this camera. Fine, right there. Hit L. And so I put that label there. And then I'm going to go a little bit further till I look back right here. And I'm going to hit L. And that's just marking the spots where I'm switching, for my own knowledge, where I'm switching camera views. Now, I can select the red on that uh, first video track. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight from that label to that label. Now if I hit delete, you'll see it slides that whole video over. We don't want that because that gets it out of sync in this case. Some cases you may want to do that. I'm going to hit Z to undo. What we want to do instead is hit M for mute and it kind of just deletes out that little clip without moving anything around. Uh, now I'm going to select to this label and do the same thing. So now when we're viewing, if I press the uh, play button back on this track so it plays, you can see that it's cutting from one video tr to another. To try and switch. So I started playing with these open source tools and I found just a handful of them. I can do everything. So that's great, but let's say we want to fade from one track to another. We have this little band bar here. Uh, we're going to select it there. I'm just going to put two little points there, drag down, and now the video will fade from one to another. Uh, also can be done here. Make sure you have the record button selected. Now you see if I have the record button selected on both these video tracks, and I do that, you'll see that it's affecting both video tracks. In this case, it's not a big deal because there's not a video up here, but you want to make sure that you unselect the tracks that you're not editing. Uh, that's different to me. I've never worked with another video editing program that, that worked like that. Uh, and so you just have to pay attention to what tracks you have set to record. So that's kind of a long fade. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move that in. You can zoom in a little bit. Now, the reason I'm using the bands here to fade is because I'm working on separate tracks. If I was working on the same track, uh, we can do different transitions, but that's another tutorial in itself. I'm just trying to give you the basics right now. And we're also now going to, I'm going to shift tab here and tab. So now I have the two audio tracks selected. And I am going to add a point right about there. And I'm just going to fade the audio out. I no longer need to. And there we go. So that's the basics of editing a two camera uh, project uh, in Cinerella. Uh, I have a lot more tutorials to come on, to come in the future. Uh, to render this video, we're going to click File, go to Render. Um, also, I like to say that it's really best to work with uh, uh, raw DV files until you're completely done editing and uh, then you can compress to whatever format you want but while you're working with the project I always suggest raw DV but uh, it does give you options for different video formats and even image formats here if you want to do a sequ sequence of images um, and make sure you have audio and uh, video checked if you want to render both of those you can choose uh, a project to render the whole project a selection so if I want to just do part of it I can highlight part of it and do selection or you can set in-out points with these uh, little markers here. Um, you can also save profiles if you have a certain video compression setup that you like. And if you want to insert the video you're saving into the project, you have options here. So um, if I just wanted to render this and replace the whole project with the video, uh, I would just click that option there, uh, which is nice to do. Uh, but I prefer to insert nothing and just save the video and um, I'm just going to save it as testvid2 here. Uh, if you want to check a folder, you just click the uh, 
magnifying glass there and go to where you want to save. And uh, then we're just going to hit check here. And what's it saying? Oh, it's saying that file already exists. Uh, do I want to write it, overwrite it? Yes, I'm going to overwrite it. So it's going to be saving. Uh, should save relatively quick since uh, I'm already in a raw DV format. It doesn't have much to compress. You'll see a little uh, percentage bar down here. And that's the first tutorial on Scenerella. As you can see, it's a little different, uh, but not that hard to use. And I have a lot to show you in the future. Uh, for more video tutorials like this and on other uh, open source uh, media related projects, go to filmsbychris.com. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, please uh, leave comments and uh, feel free to rate this video, hopefully with five stars.